Today's teachable moment is how easy it is to make a movie using what? The new Windows 10 Photos app? I thought all you did with the Photos app was look at photos. Well, if you've upgraded to the most recent Windows 10, you're going to see some new things over here in the top right hand corner when you open up your Photos app. And one of the most important ones for me is new video. New video? Let's take a look at that. I'm going to make a custom video with music. So as you can see, as with all things uh, that I've found with Microsoft, it's really easy and they give you the instructions right here. Select what you'd like to add. So let's go ahead and pick a couple of pictures, maybe some that I've used in my language arts for my students. And there, so what you can see, I've done check marks and I can even click off, uh, if it's got the little triangle there, it means it's a video, I can choose that and put those in. So now I'm gonna click create. Now what's happening is it's taking the pictures and video that I've selected and it's determining uh, which order to put them in and how long to have each one up on the screen for and it's also selecting some kind of music to go with it although once it's uh, rendered it's super easy to change the music and all kinds of things so let's take a look at what happens once we create the video from the selected items it's gonna pop up and it's gonna show me some pretty cool things it's gonna show me there it's gonna ask me to name the video and I'm gonna call this Tammy's new video. And I'm gonna click OK. And then you can see down here at the bottom, here are all the things that I selected. And it put it in an order that it thought would work. Then I can also, if I want to, click this play button and see what it looks like. But if I look at it and say, oh, I really meant for this slide to go first, look how easy it is just to click and drag it into the place I want it. And then if that's a really important slide, you can see it's highlighted by the blue rectangle around it. I can go in and I can say, ooh, I need that to last longer. I'd like that to, ask, to last seven seconds. And you can see it's changed down there. You can resize your picture. You can add filters to it, which are pretty cool. You can go ahead and put text, motion, and even 3D effects. Up here at the top, you can control both the volume of your music and which music or narration you choose. When you go into music, you'll find some free music that you can use. It will sync it to the beat and you can adjust the volume here. Once you've chosen it, all you have to do is either save it in OneDrive or export and share it. And once it's done, it's gonna save it in a special folder in your photos uh, folder that's called exported videos. And then all you have to do is use your MP4 file and that becomes a video you can use anywhere. You can upload it to YouTube, put it in a PowerPoint. So that is a way to take your photos and your videos and to create your own video using the Simple Photos app in your Windows 10 environment. And that is today's Teachable Moment.